What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what I've got for you is something that I don't do often enough, and I apologize for that, guys. What I really want to do today is talk to you about my updated lineup. And this is the one that we're going to be using this weekend for pink slips. So make sure, guys, if you're interested in playing some pink slips, you stop by the stream. Go ahead, it's twitch.tv forward slash clickwithtv. Stop on by there, hit that follow button. When you hit that follow button, you'll get an update on when we actually go live. So make sure that you guys go ahead and do that, and then you'll have a better chance of playing me in the Pink Slips games this week. So guys, here it is, the updated lineup. I just want to show you guys this because I know a lot of people always ask me, dude, you got to do a lineup update, you got to do a lineup update. So here we go, this is it. First thing, let's start off here right at the offensive line, top left corner of your screen. Anthony Munoz is the most recent offensive lineman acquisition that I've made this year. He is my left tackle, 99 overall. I eventually want to go ahead and make this whole offensive line an ultimate legend offensive line. So I'm really thinking about going out there and getting Larry Allen. Right now, John Asamoah has actually done a very good job for me. He's His attributes are a lot uh, more, I guess they're just a lot better than what I'd, I'd assume they would be because he's a 93 overall, but, uh, he's definitely a very, very good card guys. So if you're looking for a cheaper offensive line, I would certainly suggest him, but I do want to make that upgrade eventually to Larry Allen. The other offensive linemen, obviously we've got Gene Upshaw and Mike Webster at left guard and center, and then Dan Deardorff at right tackle. Now at tight end, we have Greg Olson, the, or we have, uh, excuse me, Greg Olson behind the team of the year, Greg Olson, behind Mike Ditka, the ultimate legend, Mike Ditka. So very good tight ends right now. We don't have a ton of speed or a ton of height, but they're both very, very good overall uh, tight ends. Now, at wide receiver, this is probably one of the weakest areas of my team. And the reason for it is because, honestly, I don't pass deep that often. And most of the routes that I run don't require my wide receivers to be amazing. So that's why I've kind of neglected picking up better receivers. But I am going to go out there eventually. I'm, I'm planning on getting either Ultimate Legend Calvin or maybe like the positional set Julio Jones. Something like that possibly. Uh, maybe some upgrades somewhere else. I'm not exactly certain what I want to do at this point. But currently we're running the final edition Alshon Jeffrey as our wide receiver one. Then we've got the team of the week Calvin Johnson as our wide receiver two. With the team of the year Jordy Nelson in the slot and then obviously if I have a fourth wide receiver on the field I'm just using Ditka because he has such great catch and traffic and such great run blocking attributes if we ever need to run out of a four wide receiver set so uh, that's kind of the setup with that now at running back this is the most recent addition to the team last night I sniped this thing uh, when I was when I say snipe I put that in quotes because I don't even know if it's necessarily considered a snipe um, but I got this thing for I think 303,000 coins and I thought that was a pretty good buy. Now, I know the Ultimate Legend cards right now are going for cheaper than they normally do because they're the, you know, a 99 overall Legend card is your topper right now in the Game Changer bundles. But at the same time, though, I still feel like 303,000 coins is a steal for this Marshawn Lynch. Now, I know his attributes aren't as good as Barry Sanders. They're not as good as Walter Payton. They're not as good as Bo Jackson. But other than that, this card is pretty much one of the best running backs in the game. He's got the speed. He's got the excel. Uh, he has good elusiveness. The trucking is out of control. He should break a bunch of tackles for me. And he should do a lot of uh, getting tackled running forward. And that's really one of the things that I look for in a running back. Jeremy Hill was very, very good at that. I did sell my mystery ticket, Chris Johnson. So uh, unfortunately, he just didn't stay on the team that long. And, and it wasn't really his fault. He played fairly well but Marshawn Lynch man you, you got to go out there and get Marshawn Lynch when you see that thing on the auction block for way cheaper than it should be going for typically that card's going for about 350 or more a lot of times you see it for over 400,000 so I thought that was a pretty good buy for me now Tom Brady here is my quarterback if you guys saw recently um, I did get rid of Mike Vick and I went to Tom Brady just because I, I was kind of getting thrown out of my own game by having a quarterback that was, uh, first of all, he's left-handed, which is difficult for me. And then um, secondly, he's actually, you know, like he's so mobile, Mike Vick is, that when I'm running around with him, I'm just not looking at my receivers. I'm trying to run and, and it's just, it's a bad idea. So I went with Tom Brady to kind of bring myself down to back to reality and make it so that I, I just am more efficient with throwing the football, I guess. Now, I am using Franco Harris and as my fullback right now, and I don't know if you guys know this, but Franco Harris actually has really good run blocking attributes um, for a running back, and I know that's really odd, but if you look at, let's go here, go in here and uh, take a look, um, his actual pure run blocking attribute, 
is very, very good. It's actually higher than Mike Ditka. Now, if you look, it's actually up here with uh, some of the, the better players on my team. Let's take a look here. So he's better than either of my tight ends. Uh, not as good as Date, Donald Penn or Nate Solder, but you wouldn't expect that, of course. Those cards are, are kind of built for that. Let's see here if uh, Luke Wilson. Yeah, look at that. He just blows these cards out of the water. Even even if you compare him to Bruce Miller, or uh, yeah, Bruce Miller, he's really not that much worse in run blocking and he's so much better with the ball in his hands so i can throw to him um i can make all kinds of different plays with him his impact blocking is actually even decent at a 78 so that's why i went with uh went with franco harris there he's he's a very good running back in this game but i think he plays even better as a fullback with his attributes that he has now yet on the defense the first thing that you're going to notice is i have the card that i've been saying that I want for months and months and months. Thank you to Wiza for uh, letting me borrow this card. I am not going to be able to keep this thing. But uh, yeah, Calvin Johnson, golden ticket. I think this is the best card in the game, period. I believe that uh, it, whether you use it or whether you let the computer use this card, it's the best card in the game. Easily the best free safety in the game. He's six foot five with 98 speed and 97 acceleration, 95 play rec, unbelievable zone coverage with that 97 and a 97 hit power. Out of freaking control. Absolutely ridiculous for a free safety. Calvin Johnson is unreal. So I'm gonna have fun using that this weekend and then it's gonna go back over to Wiza on Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. Uh, then let's see here at the linebacker positions not a whole lot of changes here we got jack ham obviously um he's been my he was my first ultimate legend that i had luke keekley still playing in the middle he's been on my team since this set came out the team of the year set um i don't really have much to complain about with him demarcus ware still playing left outside linebacker i would love to eventually upgrade him to Derek brooks i don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon just given the price of Derek brooks but yeah, DeMarcus Ware is, uh, he's not really built for my defense. He's more of a 3-4 outside linebacker, and I have a 4-3 defense, so he's not the most optimum player for me to have there. So definitely looking to upgrade him at some point. Taylor Mays as my strong safety. He's six foot four. That's really the only reason that he continues to play for my team. He drops way too many picks, but um, he is a beast with that hit power and then being six foot four as well. He does a better job than most safeties at swatting, and that's... That's kind of uh, the name of the game for me right now. Six foot five and six foot four safeties. I'm probably going to be playing a lot of uh, deep zones with my safeties this weekend. Now, going over here uh, on the secondary end of things, Vontae freaking Davis. I did go out here and pick this card up. I have both the positional set, Vontae Davis and the Patrick Peterson right now. Both of these cards are really, really good. I like Patrick Peterson a, li a little bit more just because he's got the two inches of height, but man, both of these cards have crazy attributes, great awareness, great zone coverage, great man coverage, great press, uh, great play rack. They're, they're just really good overall cornerbacks. So I, uh, I'm very happy to have them feel very, very good about my chances of shutting people down this weekend, or at least having a better chance than I have in recent weeks, because um, I, I obviously upgraded from the uh, team of the week, Patrick Peterson, to this one. And then uh, I upgraded from Antonio Cromartie to Vontae Davis. So that's kind of the team right now. We've got Joe Hayden still and Chris Harris as our backup cornerbacks. Then uh, on the defensive line, this is kind of going to wrap up uh, the uh, major or just the main offensive line between the off or the main offense and defense, I should say. Now, uh, Bruce Smith is playing right end for us right now. Mean Joe Green in the middle. And then we've got Aaron Donald. The honors Aaron Donald because he's fast. So if I go up against those players who uh, like to run around with their quarterback, that 88 speed, I can put him in a QB contain and he can actually do or uh, a QB spy, excuse me. And he can actually do a really good job of shutting down those people that like to run a lot with their quarterback. Now, this is actually, I think, a more recent... Uh, I think I did buy this after Marshawn Lynch, so I might have been wrong on what I said before. But uh, he is the most recent addition to the team, Reggie White. I went out here and picked him up last night. He was going for uh, about 50,000 coins less than what he normally does. So I just decided to go out here and get him. 98 block shed with 100 power move, 85 finesse move. 95 play rack now the only real thing that i worry about with him is that he doesn't have the speed and acceleration 
that a lot of other players do. Uh, even if you compare him to the Bruce Smith, he's lower in both of those attributes. But if you look at the fact that he has such great block shedding, such great power moves, um, and, and the play rack and everything like that, I don't think that's going to be a major issue. I wish that he had just a little bit more speed so that he could get to the quarterback a little bit faster. But uh, he should be able to do a decent enough job. Hopefully, he doesn't shit the bed and play terribly. Because if he does, then I won't hesitate to get rid of him. But that's kind of the update and lineup, guys. And then obviously, as our specialists, we're still sticking with John Ryan at punter, Greg Zerline at kicker, and then I'm using Patrick Peterson right now as my kick returner because honestly, I don't have anybody else that's even remotely close to him as far as the actual kick return attribute. And as far as I understand it, you actually do get a little tiny bit of a boost with like your break tackles and then I think even like your blocking or something on kick returns if you have a higher overall kick returner so uh there you have it guys that is the updated lineup hopefully you guys enjoy it um this is going to be what i use like i said for pink slips this weekend and then uh if i play any other head-to-head -head seasons g games or anything like that that this will be the lineup that i use so wish me luck this weekend guys good luck to you guys in advance for uh getting picked for pink slips i and when i say picked getting chosen based off of the uh, trivia question that we ask. So uh, you kind of got to do it yourself. So again, head on over to twitch.tv forward slash click with TV. I will leave a link in the description below for you guys. Um, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.